Hi there, I think it's better if I explain what I made this for. So, I want to make myself a new belt grinder, bigger than my 2x72 back there, and with a couple of improvements. The design of this new grinder is going to be based on the Bader 3x132 inches belt grinder, and of course it's not going to be exactly like a Bader because I'll make it with materials and stuff that is available to me but hopefully it will still have all the functionalities of a bader and if you're curious to see how a bader belt grinder actually looks like you can see one or you can see many in pretty much every single one of the videos from Matt and Ilya over to their channel that works or in the show Man at Arms. Anyway one of the things that I really want this new belt grinder to have is the option for interchangeable arms, whether it be wheels or different work rests. I want to have the option to swap things out, and this is why I made those aluminum bars. My idea here is that half of this bar will be secured into the main body of the machine, and over the exposed half, I will be able to slide on different arms that are very easy to make, just with pieces of this same 50 by 50 millimeter square mild steel tubing. Then, to lock the arms, I just need a couple of bolts, and thanks to the precise fit between aluminum bar and steel tubing, that's all I need to make everything nice, secure, and very solid. Of course, these bars are not perfect, but if you have any source of scrap aluminum, they are pretty much free to make. And the big advantage is that you can make them in any size and length, and they will always fit very precisely the tubing that they have been cast into. One thing I've noticed is that on the bottom of the tubing, relative to how I cast the bars, there were many more imperfection than over to the top of the tubing and you can also see like a couple of drops of aluminum that in the bottom solidified like the test from the main bar of aluminum and I think that's caused by the aluminum cooling too quickly while traveling to the bottom of the bar so one way around this problem could be to heat up the tubing before casting so that it's already hot and doesn't draw too much heat from the molten aluminum but that maybe can cause some problem for the releasing of the bar once everything is cooled another way to fix this problem would be to cast shorter bars like today I cast like a 1.1 meter long bar and I'm pretty sure that if I just cast two bars of the length that I needed, so roughly 45 centimeters, I would have had way less imperfection in the bottom because there is less mass to heat from the tubing and yeah, not sure, but I think it would go better. Anyway, for what I use this bar for, all this little superficial imperfection doesn't really matter at all for me, so I'm happy with how it came out. And if you're curious, stay tuned to see the future 2x130 belt grinder build that will come sometime soon. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Bye.